I get to take the Weather Beast. I get to take the Weather Beast to uh, the STEM launch school in Thornton, Colorado. That is a really dirty truck. Gonna wash the beast, and then we're going to take this bad boy to teach some kids. I can't get it to start. Like, I got the water on, but I'm not getting electricity. Okay, so this is like... No, I can't get it to... Did you turn on the hose? Uh, you know what, I turned on the hose, but I can't get the power. So, I guess I'm gonna have to find an engineer. You know what? You know who knows how to fix everything? I'm Dan. Hey, what's up, Dan? Something's up with it. Like, I just can't get the power to come on. Yeah, there's no power for it. Oh, uh, there's no power for it. As far as I know, you have to go to a car wash. Oh, I gotta go to a car wash. Probably like, what is the Weather Beast? We call it a beast. It's like it's a monster truck. Okay, maybe that's an insult to guys and girls who drive monster trucks. It's a really big truck, is what it is. And what's going on is it's got these huge tires. They can like four by four really well. Okay, sorry. Wait, this is much much better. I'm not supposed to tell you guys this, but between you and I, okay, just between you and I, a manager here told me that in the case of an emergency, like to save my life. I'm actually allowed to drive the beast through like a cornfield. He's like just knock down whatever fence is there and get away like if you're being chased by a tornado. I don't know what kind of tornadoes they think of. How close do they think I'm getting to tornadoes? I probably, I probably didn't do a great job of explaining what's going on. I got invited like as a camera guy to go um, talk about weather, a big like uh, show and tell day. The idea is, is that we're gonna go show some high schoolers how important math is, engineering, sciences, technology in general is in their lives. Okay. Driving around in my automobile. No particular place to go. Just pulled up to STEM school, but I think I'm in the wrong parking lot. All right, how far you want it? All the way in it is. Oh my God, take a look at this guy. Yes, oh STEM school and they got us right in front. I will never get parking this good ever again. I just know it. There's, uh, they wanted to park me on the moon, but as, as cool as the beast is, there's, there's some 4x4 four four that just can't happen. So we'll, we'll settle for just out, uh, just away from orbiting the moon. Smash. Oh yeah. That's cool. All right, let me put this bad boy. This is, I guess they call this the moon. You could, there's gotta be a, a good way to show you a perspective. Um, so it turns out I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay on time. That's the mast, that's the dish. Ah, this is the STEM launch kid. I am really having a good time here. Is this gonna be on YouTube? Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Olivia. Cool, Olivia. How are you liking the set? How are you liking the uh, Inspire oh, today? Really good. Because guess what? what? I got to go inside of that thing, and I've seen that on TV, but it's a lot cooler if you get to see it in person. Bad. Good job. Cool. Okay, in case you didn't catch what happened there, those were seventh and eighth graders from a school called the STEM, let me get this right. Those were kids who were from a school called STEM Launch. They're seventh and eighth graders. A couple times a year, they have this sort of event where they bring in a lot of people from outside the community who are really smart, and then they bring me as well. I showed them the weather beast, and I showed them how we use drones and just talk to them about news and I encourage them to be bilingual and to learn other languages because it would make their lives easier and I told them to stay in school and all that really smart stuff and whoo it's exhausting teachers you are amazing people I have no idea I mean these kids they were phenomenal they were really fun to be around they've had great questions 
Some of them are just like over here on the left and some of them want to touch this and that and all you're trying to do is like deliver one message. Five minutes. You just want five minutes of like their time. What's that term? Herding cats. I remember you looked up that term before. Teachers, you are bad. I bet some kids are watching this. You are amazing. What you do is incredible. That's it.